In Advaita Vedanta and Jnana Yoga Nidhijasana Sanskrit, Nidhijasana is profound and repeated meditation on the Mahavakayas, great Upanishadic statements such as, That art thou, to realize the identity of Atman and Brahman. It is the fourth step in the training of a sisya disciple, consisting of preparatory practives, listening to the teachings as contained in the sriti, reflection on the teachings, and nidhijasana. <laughs> Four stages of practice Nidhijasana is the final step in the correct understanding of the meaning of the Mahavakayas. Classical Advaita Vedanta emphasizes the path of Jnana Yoga, a progression of study and training to attain moksha. It consists of four stages Samanyasa or Sampatis, the fourfold discipline, Sadhana Katustaya, cultivating the following four qualities, Nityanitya Vastu Viveka, Nityanitya Vastu Vivikam the ability vivika to correctly discriminate between the eternal nitya substance Brahman and the substance that is transitory existence Anataya. Ayamutretha Phala Boga Viraga Ayamutretha Phala Boga Viragam the renunciation viraga of enjoyments of objects Artha Phala Boga in this world IHA and the other worlds Amutra like heaven etc. Samadhi Satka Sampati Samadhi Satka Sampati the sixfold qualities Sama control of the antakarana Dharma the control of external sense organs Uparati the cessation of these external organs so restrained from the pursuit of objects other than that or it may mean the abandonment of the prescribed works according to scriptural injunctions Titiksa, the tolerating of tapatraya. Sraddha, the faith in guru and Vedas. Samadana, the concentrating of the mind on God and guru. Mamuksatva, Mamuksatvam, the firm conviction that the nature of the world is misery and the intense longing for moksha, release from the cycle of births and deaths. Sravana, listening to the teachings of the sages on the Upanishads and Advaita Vedanta, and studying the Vedantic texts, such as the Brahma Sutras. In this stage the student learns about the reality of Brahman and the identity of Atman. Manyana, the stage of reflection on the teachings. Nididhyasana, the stage of meditation on the truth. That art thou. Nididhyasana is a rational and cognitive process, which differs from dhyana meditation. It is necessary for gaining Brahmajnana. Atma Brahmeti Vakyath Nizasena Vikarite by a thorough analysis of Atman is Brahman. The direct knowledge, I am Brahman, is achieved Pinchadasi 7.58. Nididhyasana done independently of sravana does not lead to the realization of the Atman. Explanation Advaita Vedanta Brihadaranyaka Upanishad 2, IV. 5, defines Nididhyasana as the meditation for the sake of direct vision. Yajnavalkya tells his wife, Atma vyaya drastavya sratavyo mantavyo nidhyasitavyo maitrei atmano vyaya dasanina sravanina matya vinananidam sarvam viditam the self, my dear maitrei, should be realized, should be heard of, reflected on, and meditated upon. By the realization of the self, my dear, through hearing, reflection and meditation, all this is known. Brihadaranyaka Upanishad Street 2, IV.5 Sankara explains Nididhyasana as meditation with determination. Sankara states, Srutha Satagunam Vidyanmananam Mananadapi Nidhyasam Laksagunam Anantam Nervakalpakam Reflection manyana is hundred times superior to listening. Sravana, 
Meditation nididhyasana is hundred times superior to reflection. Nirvikalpaka samadhi is infinitely superior. According to Shorsvara, nididhyasana is the culmination of the practice of sravana and manjana, which is an indirect intuition of Brahman and does not mean meditation but knowledge, vijnana, i.e., understanding the meaning of the sruti on the basis of vaisya vakaka relation underlying the mahavakya. Shorsvara states, Sastrakaryanubhavanerhetubhiska samathata idgekatmaya sambodho nididhyasanamaye nididhyasana is so called when, instruction about the uniqueness of the Atman is justified by proper reasons viz., the sriti, the instructions of teachers and one's own experience of the same. Nididhyasana consists in acquisition of Vakyarthajnana, and this verse explains the purport of Sunishnata. According to Vakaspati, Sravana, Manyana, and Nidhyasana are a chain of causes contributory to the knowledge of the oneness of Brahman. The Vivana school considers Sravana as the principal cause, but Shorsvara treats Sravana and Manyana to be co existent. These two culminate into Nididhyasana. <laughs> Dvaita Vedanta According to Madhva the knowledge acquired by study sravana and stabilized by reflection manyana is made the basis of steady contemplation nididhyasana. These are the three stages of inquiry that take the form of dhyana. Radhakrishnan has defined nididhyasana as the process by which intellectual conscience is transformed into a vital one there is stillness, a calm in which the soul lays itself open to the divine. Neo-Vedanta According to Michael James, who gives an Advaita Vedanta interpretation of Ramana Maharshi, Ramana's self-inquiry is the same as Nididhyasana and Atma Vichara. See also Lectio Divina equals equals notes